Supporting information, the building blocks of battery technology using modified tile plot game sets to explain and aid the understanding of rechargeable lithium ion batteries, a demonstration video. We have made use of a variety of different surfaces on our tile block sets to make this demonstration accessible to those who are blind or visually impaired. Before running this demonstration, we need to understand our key and what each block represents. Let's consider the oxide electrode first. Before charging, this electrode houses our lithium ions. A common material in use for rechargeable lithium batteries for this electrode is lithium cobalt oxide. The longitudinal box consisting of purple glitter paper with the affixed profile gems represent the cobalt oxide layer. The layer with the large blue buttons represent our lithium ions. The top and bottom pieces covered in shiny foil represents the aluminium foil, which the lithium cobalt is deposited on. Aluminium foil acts as our current collector. The other electrode is the graphite electrode. You could ask the class where they can find graphite in the classroom. The grey textured cardboard represents sheets of graphite. The white blocks represent the space between the graphite layers. The top and bottom orange blocks represent the copper current collector. We have affixed copper once pence pieces to represent this. An added note to consider, but will not be represented in this video, is the current collectors are used by the electrons which transfer by the external circuit. This application ties in nicely when teaching about electrochemical potentials and redox processes. You could get the class to think why these batteries work as they do, and what is the favourable direction, and where you have to supply energy. Lithium ion battery operation, charging and discharging processes. To help visualise and support students in the first charge, remove some of the white blanks from the graphite electrode. On charging, the lithium blocks are removed from the oxide electrode and inserted into the graphite electrode. We are now charging our battery. This is an uphill energy process. On discharge, the lithium blocks are removed from the graphite electrode back to the oxide electrode. You can relate the steps of charging and discharging to everyday applications such as smartphone use. The next demonstration is visualising charging rate effects. Two student volunteers are required. Our tower block sets have the opposite electrode on the reverse. This is so we can run this activity side by side with the two oxide electrodes. Ask one student to represent slow charge, which requires the slow removal of the lithium ion blocks. With the second student, ask them to remove the lithium blocks as fast as they can. They may hesitate initially because they don't want to collapse the tower, so reassure them that this is okay to do. In summary, slow charging keeps the structure intact, whilst fast charging has resulted in collapse. To help students to keep to their particular rate, you could have a sounding beep, such as a slow beep for the student who is doing a slow charge and a faster beep for the students who are doing a faster charge. You can get the class to think about charging times and applications, and also how we need to consider safety. Also, some students won't remove all the lithium in one row. Ask them why. The likely answer is because they don't want the tower to collapse. This aspect stands true for lithium cobalt oxide. Not all lithium ions can be removed. Finally, let's consider degradation effects and what happens to our batteries over time. We will only focus on the oxide electrode, but it can be done with the graphite electrode too. You can see the oxide electrode is undergoing repeated cycling of charging and discharging steps. Notice how this electrode's blocks are no longer aligned and have been displaced. This demo explains how performance decreases with time. Educators could connect these demonstrations of rate cycling and degradation to current research challenges. 
such as recycling lithium ion batteries, where you can get the class to think about cost, abundancy and the recycling processes. Or, how could we improve battery performance? You could get the class to think about the performance and the different charge time requirements to different lithium ion battery applications. Or, how could we produce battery materials more usable lithium ions?